Mitte September diesen Jahres wurde Nepal durch einen tagelangen Starkregen von einer Flutkatastrophe betroffen, die in Teilen des Landes Häuser, Terrassen, Gärten und Leben in die Tiefe gespült hat. Aber auch das Kathmandu-Tal war sehr betroffen, vor allen Dingen in Flussnähe und an den Flussufern haben sich die Outlaws angesiedelt, verbotenerweise, nämlich die Slums. Wir von Zuka e.V., Hilfe für Indien und Nepal, haben einen Spendenaufruf getätigt und arbeiten in diesem Projekt zusammen mit der, äh, unserer Partnerorganisation, mit der Shanti Leprahilfe Dortmund. Shanti hat hier seit 32 Jahren mh, ja, ein eigenes Dorf. Äh, Shanti arbeitet gerne direkt basic an der Not, äh, sammelt alles auf, was äh, alleine nicht leben kann, von jung bis alt, betreibt eine Schule, eine Klinik, äh, eine Schneiderei und andere Aktivitäten und kümmert sich ohnehin um die Slums. In den letzten 14 Tagen war ich viel mit Chanti in den Slums unterwegs, Moskitonetze, Essensausgabe, Health Camps und im folgenden Film berichte ich ein wenig aus den Slums direkt und super, großartig, hab vielen, 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 vielen Dank für eure großzügigen Spenden. Ähm, wir sind jetzt hier in den Slums. In dem großen Slum, der von Shanti die ganze Zeit betreut worden ist und neben mir steht äh, Bijendra und Bijendra ist der Koordinator aller logistischen Organisationen von Shanti, wenn es um, also von vielen Projekten, aber in diesem Fall auch, wenn es um die Slumhilfe geht. Bijendra, you have been here when the flood was here. What was your feeling about? Yeah, actually, it is not just the first time. So it is uh, previous years also we have a certain floods, but this time it was uh, one of the uh, highest impact, the most impact this time uh, with all the slums. And this is the one of the major and bigger slums uh, around uh, Santi. So since long time we are supporting before flood also to these people with the health camp and some other stuff. But a few uh, days ago when this, this flood happens here, most of the people they can't sleep for one week. Even it was the worst and worst regarding the disease and also they have a problem with the cold. And also they have, uh, it, everything is ruined here. You can, if, even it was now getting so much better than those days because this time there are some disabilities, some people very, very poor and also the children, they are all suffering. And also we started with the health securities for so this the... Was, what was the first thing Shanti organizes? Yeah, we start? organized, uh, the first the Shanti has organized uh, to rescue the people who are in dire needs, like the disabled people or children. Wheelchair, I saw wheelchairs, photos of yeah, wheelchair wheelchair lady. children, yeah, ladies. You, you yeah, took yeah. them out of the slums Yeah, first, yeah, we, first so we take them. People, the people who yeah, cannot right. walk. Yeah, right, yeah. And also the people who are very, very old age and oh, the very small also the children. Old people. Where yeah. do they bring them? Uh, we take to Santi, mm -hmm. most of them. And also we uh, manage here one school yeah. where we have keep them who are in very, very much of need. Mm -hmm. And the health here, we started from the beginning of the day when the flood was over the whole area. How, how okay, heute is von Shanti im Slum, das Health Camp. Es ist schon späterer Nachmittag und nahe dabei zu enden. Es waren bis jetzt 500 Patienten hier. Erzähl mal. Hier ist die Zahnärztin, die habe ich eben schon kennengelernt. Dental Checker. Hier ist Labor. Das ist das Labor. Okay, was kann das? Ah, für Dange, für Dange Text, Blutzucker. Okay. Hauptsächlich, sagt mir der Arzt, eben sind es Hausausschläge, Infektionen, Allergien, genau. die hier behandelt werden. Hier ist der generelle Check-up, vermutlich Blutdruck. Was wird noch gemacht? Äh, nicht nur, das ist tatsächlich auch ein Allgemeinmediziner, der sitzt, also ja. ein Arzt. Äh, ja. Und der fragt die Leute, ob sie generell erstmal irgendwelche Beschwerden haben. Ja, okay. Ob sie irgendwas haben, was jetzt, weil... Was jetzt weiß, auch welche ist, Medikamente ne? rausgegeben werden ja, müssen. Ja, okay. So, okay. How many days was it flooded here? Uh, it was uh, ne nearly four to five days. Four to five, five days. days. And, the and then slowly, yeah, slowly, slowly it yeah, disappeared. It disappeared. Yeah. And also, uh, due to the lack of their, the things, you can see everything is ruined. Everything is damaged here. So we have started the hot meal every evening. 
and also we are planning to give them all the nutritious food you know the litos and also we do the regular checkup is, um, i saw the lito you give the lito what is a lito about what is a uh, lito? lito is uh, also one of our very very ancient very old time is you know it has all the ingredients which is very uh, especially all the grains which is mixed after uh, we roast it so people doesn't need to cook you know it, it is very much helpful in the time of covid and also for the uh, disaster times it really really so helps Lito is uh, designed by Shanti huh? yeah yeah it was yeah, yeah. in let the previous explain, let me explain mm. in germany also shanti had ein uh, ja so nahrungsergänzungspulver uh, entwickelt was hier für die unterernährte bevölkerung das sind uh, da sind unheimlich viele saaten drin da sind nüsse drin da sind öle drin da sind uh, kichererbsenmehle drin hochwertige Proteine, Bohnen, viel Bohnen, genau, höre ich gerade von Luke, der die Kamera hält. Bohnen, also Lito ist quasi ein Pulver, was man unter die Milch mischen kann oder unter das Wasser mischen kann und man hat einfach ein High Energy, High, high Energy, energy Nutritious Value. Ja, genau, yeah. also wirklich ein, ein hoch Easy to swap, easy to genau. solve also. You can yeah. have with the yeah. water, milk, yeah. wherever yeah. and you can store it for a long time. Yeah, year, genau. One year, one and yeah. one and a half Long year. time, ja, yeah. yeah. kann, kann, ist lange haltbar. Yeah. Also yeah. wird hier viel eingesetzt, äh, bewährt sich gut. Yeah. Then, uh, tell me a little bit about the people here in, who live here yeah, in Yeah, the people who live here. They, they, they are families, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are families. They also work. What kind yeah. of work There are do they daily do? wages. Actually, there are daily wages uh, who works for carrying the goods. And uh, also they are working, collecting the garbage of genau. the plastics. Müllabfuhr, Plastikabfuhr. Yeah. Tagelöhner. Yeah, and uh, they are uh, underprivileged of the caste. Most of them are in very, very low caste from very remote places who came to Kathmandu for survival. Sehr abgelegenen Gebieten yeah. uh, von niedrig kastigen uh, Tribes, die oft nach Kathmandu kamen, um hier einfach zu überleben, weil man yeah. in den Dörfern nicht überleben kann. So they are really, really suffering since long time here. Yeah. Uh, the most and, and Shanti takes care yeah, yeah, also since before. Before, yeah, before. from the lockdown. Even before the since lockdown, the lockdown uh, before Shanti. the lockdown, we used to give in the Pashupati area. Mm -hmm. And later on, uh, after the lockdown, we are taking care more than here, uh, uh, more than 1,500 people. The here small Islam this, is 500 and here is nearly uh, 1,000. Two, two so slums, slums we are taking slum, here. Yeah, yeah. People and the big slum. This here, one is this big, slum big slums. For yeah. 1,500 people, also 1,500 right. Leute. Guck mal, then there was, uh, and, and since then, so uh, from my part, Suka, Suka EV, uh, we participated in this project here yeah. and I launched to the people thousand mosquito nets. Yeah, yeah, yeah we support with so, mosquito nets, yeah, medicines. But this is yeah. only a small part of yeah, what yeah, you do. Yeah, huh? yeah. So the sleeping bags, yeah. mattress, we yeah. give them uh, mosquito Just nets. Like because right now we have other matrasse. problems like dengue fever. Yes, it's very, fever. very, very, very difficult right now, in, especially in these areas also, where there is a flood and we can see how dirty the river is. Also, um, Luke told me last days ago you found, and this is a topic which is really at the end, is really a no-go, that they burn the dead people here with plastic. Do yeah. you know about this? Uh, Let me explain in Germany. Also, hier wurden vor mehreren Tagen also Feuer gesichtet, die darauf hindeuten, dass die Menschen hier einfach ihre Toten verbrennen, und zwar mit Plastik. Das geht ja gar nicht, ja? Und äh, Plastik reicht auch nicht, um den Körper durchzubrennen und dann geht ein halb durchgebrannter Körper in den Fluss. Okay, what about that? Uh, actually, here, uh, when I talk to those people, they were saying the plastics, but uh, uh, we have just tried to find out regarding the dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Normally, in our culture also, most of the people, they born in the bank of the river. Mm. But this is not the right way to born. Or to do uh, cremations, yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Das ist hier, uh, uh, normalerweise yeah. gehört zu unserer But, Kultur, uh, dass wir am Flussufer unsere Toten verbrennen, so we aber have, so geht es natürlich nicht. We have already talked to the leaders over here that uh, we will pay for the cremation in Pasupati, okay. in electric ones. We never yeah. pay for the yeah. wood ones yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. not good for the eco friendly it's not eco-friendly. Yeah. So okay. we are doing from the electric yeah. only, from okay, Santi's also side. Okay, also Shanti hat angeboten, also hier gibt policy. es ja auch, 
hier gibt es ja auch so eine Art Bürgermeister. Also diese Slums sind ja auch sozial, die haben ja auch eine soziale Administration. Hier gibt es einen Bürgermeister und der Shanti hat dem angeboten, dass Shanti einfach die Kremation, also den Transport und die Kremation im Elektrokrematorium in Paschipatu ne, übernimmt. Ja. Natürlich nicht die Holzkremation, ist A viel zu teuer und auch nicht eco-friendly, aber es ist auch eben sehr teuer. Genau, also so wird es. Oh, genau. What is the reason that people die here? Uh, it's like most of the people are here dying because of because the lack of medicines here. Mm -hmm. the, uh, our education and in Nepal, you know, the health system is really, really worse than any other countries, what I feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the main conditions because these people doesn't have citizenships because it's all gone from the water flooded that I can send you the pictures of mm -hmm. all the necessary documents they have already lost yeah. with their home and everything. Yeah. So with all the documents here in Nepal, you cannot do anything even for education for medications mm -hmm. nothing is a uh, you know possible here to do and they don't have the money because their flood has already taken their yeah. the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever also, they have es ist hier natürlich sind doch alle dokumente viel weggespült worden die haben einfach keine politischen rechte die haben keine sozialen rechte die haben keine äh, keine medizinische betreuung äh, es fehlt hier an medikamenten und ja bijendra yeah. it is incredible what you do here no it's my pleasure to be so in, because i am also one of the rich child in santi mm -hmm. so we very much love our organization which mm -hmm. helping since 32 years yeah. in the sake of poor and vulnerable yeah. groups and to the all kind of difficulties that uh, i'm so happy and i'm so glad to be in santi and get this opportunity yeah. to work for the people to work for my own nepalese people and to yeah. the poor so it's actually my pleasure and it's my Uh, feeling so good and nice, it's good for my soul, for my, it's like for my reason and religious and everything. So uh, I can't explain anything uh, regarding of how, how, yeah. Gratitude, how, yeah, yeah, you do yeah, a fantastic yeah. job. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank interview. You, yeah, Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>